At least 45 Palestinian civilians are dead after an IDF airstrike caused an explosion and a fast-moving fire through a refugee camp in Rafah, according to Gaza's health ministry. ABC's Christiane Cordero has you covered from Washington. An overnight airstrike in western Rafah now triggering an investigation today after dozens of Palestinian civilians were killed in a refugee camp. Gaza's health ministry, run by Hamas, says Israeli fighter jets launched missiles at shelters in what had been designated as a humanitarian zone. The IDF disputes the claim that this was a humanitarian zone. The explosion caused a fire that rapidly spread throughout the camp as people tried putting the flames out. Hundreds are injured and the death toll is expected to rise. This woman cries they have no friends or family left and can't identify their loved ones. The IDF says the incident is under review. It claims the strikes killed two senior Hamas officials and that they're aware of several civilians in the area that were harmed. Any loss of life, civilian life, is grave uh, and is, uh, is awful. Um, we seek to go after Hamas and limit civilian casualties, and uh, we will investigate if an investigation uh, is needed. Hours before the Western Rafah strikes, the IDF says Hamas fired rockets from Rafah into Israel. It was Hamas's first rocket launch towards Tel Aviv in at least four months. Two people were injured. According to Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry, the war has killed nearly 36,000 Palestinians. That number includes civilians and fighters. Israel blamed civilian deaths on Hamas's strategy to operate in densely populated residential areas. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Washington.